What is good everybody, welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today we are back with brand new wrestling action figure news and not just wrestling action figure news, man. We got some bittersweet news coming out of WWE today, man. If you guys were unaware, we had some we had some cuts. There were some releases today and one of them is just uh, just completely unbelievable. And I, I, I don't think they're done releasing people at this moment at the time of recording this. So I'll continue to update you guys if they add people and things of that nature. But anyways, man, the big release that comes from me today, man, is going to be Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler released from WWE. I know a, a lot of people were tagging me across socials and trying to check on me. They were like, somebody go check on MDT over there. And yeah, man, I mean, that, like, I have a, a bittersweet um, reaction to it, to be honest with you, because I feel like, you know, for so long, like, he's been held back, he's been held down, and they haven't really pushed him to his full potential. I think, truly, he is one of the most talented guys in the entire roster. He is so good at what he does. In the ring, on the microphone, I think he has the look. I think he's fantastic. So, as we all know, you guys know that I love Dolph Ziggler, right? Well, he was released today as part of, you know, different cuts with the new binding deal or whatever where, you know, the UFC and WWE have come together and, you know, the, a lot of changes around the company happening, so they have been cutting people and things of that nature, man. But Dolph Ziggler being released, man, he is one of my all-time favorites. I, ju I just love the guy. I think he's so great. I've been able to relate to him in some points in his career. He's just so good, man. He's so damn good. And I, it's bittersweet for me personally and we're going to get into other things as well, but I want to spend this first few minutes of the video just talking about this because surely if you're clicking on this video or you follow wrestling or me or my channel or whatever, you know how big of a fan of Dolph Ziggler I am, but it's bittersweet because it doesn't matter. Like, I, I don't think his wrestling career is over because I think he has so much more left in the tank and it excites the hell out of me to think that he could go somewhere else and really perform. Like, I don't care where it is, man. It, I hope it's AEW. I'd really love to see him go to AEW. I think he's AEW champion worthy, like world champion champion worthy if he wanted to do so, but not getting my hopes up on these things, but it excites me to think that, man, he got out of there, he's not gonna go over, you know, he's not in WWE anymore putting over, like, freaking random talent, you know, or, or talent that I don't personally believe in, or things of that nature, so it's gonna be really exciting to see him not have to do that anymore, so that really excites me, he had a fantastic career in WWE, maybe one day he'll be back, maybe they'll restructure something, I don't know what the case is, but at this point, if he is just straight up released, I mean, dude, he can go anywhere and he can perform and I can't wait to see where he goes from here. It doesn't matter what venture he goes on, man. I truly believe he'll be successful at and it. I am excited for him to just do something new, even it, though it is better for me that I won't see him in a WWE ring soon. Whether he re-signs or whether, you know, he, he is gone for good from WWE, that is bitter for me, but again, there is a sweet aspect because I don't have to put up with Bull anymore and, you know, maybe he can go win some big-time matches and do some big-time things even though he had his moments in, in in his WWE career, and there's plenty of moments that I enjoyed, and I love the man, obviously, and loved his career, but, you know, those are just some of my, uh, my thoughts off the top of my dome. No more figures from Mattel, which sucks, but we did just recently get the SummerSlam Elite, which is a beautiful piece, but yeah, I wanted to get on here and talk about Dolph Ziggler first before we move into it, because Shelton Benjamin was also released, which was one of my guys. Love Shelton Benjamin so much, but him being released now, that does mean that we're not going to see any flashback Shelton Benjamin Elites or anything like that, and obviously, it's bigger than figures, but since we cover figures on this channel, obviously, obviously I think those things matter when we're talking about released talent, because now that these, this talent is released, we will no longer be getting figures of them anytime soon. Any future projects with them in figure form and things like that will be shelved, so that is that is sucky as well, because, you know, no more Dolph Ziggler figures, no more Shelton Benjamin, no more people, other other people that were released, and this is another one. Top Dalla has been released. Now, I am not a Top Dalla fan, was never a fan of the guy or anything like that, but I still hate to see people lose their jobs, and I still hate to see people in an unfortunate situation, you know what I mean? So that they, that is never a good thing, but that means that his top dollar figure is, is no longer coming, and I do believe he had a chase figure, right? There was two different top dollar figures coming soon. Those will now be gone. We are not going to be getting those. Actually, now that I think about it, those, I, I bet we will be getting those because I feel like those are pretty much into production now, so it wouldn't shock me to see those hit shelves, you know? I think those will be hitting shelves. I don't know when they'll hit shell. It'll probably be like a few months before they hit actual shells, but they should be coming to Ringside Collectibles relatively soon, I would imagine. So I don't think the top dollar figure will go anywhere. I think it's a little bit too late for that. I think we will be getting that figure. However, I do think that, you know, that is that is 
terrible that, you know, people are losing their jobs today. Anytime we do these WWE cut videos and there's people getting released, it's always a tough time. But most of these talents will land on their feet, I think. I think they're going to be able to find work other places. But it's always unfortunate to see somebody lose their job. Another one was Riddick Moss, Rick Boogs, Elias, Aaliyah. Lots of different people getting cut. I think Emma was even cut. So heart goes out to all those guys. I hope they can land on their feet quickly, you know, and they, and they can get back on their feet. But Dolph Ziggler was probably the one that stood out to me the most. I think Mustafa. Ali was also released, man. That is a, that's a huge bummer. I think the official list is Dolph Ziggler, Shelton Benjamin, Elias, Rick Boogs, Aaliyah, Top Dollar, Madcap Moss, Emma, and Mustafa Ali. And that's another one, man. I love Mustafa Ali too, but I think, again, another talent that is so talented that he'll easily land on his feet. One of the better guys in the ring that you'll find around the world. Dude's a beast. And yeah, man, this is crazy. 2,000 matches for WWE in Dolph Ziggler's career. Just insanity, but dude's a magician. Can't wait to see him somewhere else, you know, in a ring and things of that nature. But not having him in WWE is going to be insanity and just a crazy situation altogether. But that is some of the release stuff. Again, if there's more people released as we continue on this video, I'll definitely be putting... I'll definitely tell you guys about it before we get out of here. But there's other news, man. We got figure news that I want to talk about, man. If you guys are unaware, Eddie Kingston, big matchup with Claudio the other night. His AEW figure is actually showing up at Walmart. His Walmart exclusive Eddie Kingston figure has been found. So I do expect, you know, people to start, you know, people to start finding that figure at retail. People on Facebook were posting about this and things of that nature. I think that this is a really cool figure. You know, nothing just crazy over the top, but the t-shirt's nice. I like some of the things going on with this figure, and it's perfectly on time. I think this is on time for people, but people are finding the Eddie Kingston, so you definitely want to be on the lookout if you guys are interested in that figure. You look forward to that. Definitely be on the lookout for the Eddie Kingston figure. I don't know how soon it'll be hitting, but if it's hitting somewhere, it's hitting everywhere probably, so definitely stay on the lookout for the Eddie Kingston if you guys are interested. Hopefully, this doesn't clog up our shelves for too, too long, but the one I'm really looking forward to out of the Walmart exclusives is going to be the Chris Jericho in the purple. Cannot wait for that figure. That figure looks in entirely immaculate. I can't wait for that one. That one looks like it's going to be one of the better AEW figures of the year. Even if the head sculpt's not the greatest, I kind of I like the different approach they took for that figure, and the purples and everything going on with that figure are really, really sweet and unique, so I'm looking forward to that, but the Walmart Eddie Kingston is hitting, so I'd imagine Chris Jericho, maybe in the next couple months, will probably follow that one, but that is not all we have today, man. Also, the next Coliseum Collection Ultimate Edition 2-pack featuring Rowdy Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel. Apparently, the date for this figure has been pushed back. They have changed the date on this. It was actually supposed to be next week sometime. I think it was like next Tuesday or something like that. It was going to be the original date for it. They said that that was going to be when it released, but it says the pre-order date for the Roddy Piper and George Steel Coliseum Collection set has changed. I'll have an update on the new date for all of you shortly. He said this a week ago, apparently, and I don't think that we have an update just yet. I don't think he has updated anybody, so it is no longer going to be on the 26th of September. It is actually going to be at a later date, so I guess we will have to wait and see about that, see exactly when that figure is going to be released or that figure set. A very sweet set, something I'm looking forward to, even though, you know, George the Animal Steel didn't really expect him in that set, but the Roddy Piper is a guy that has been on my Ultimate Edition wish list for a really long time, so and it, it actually looks like one of the better Ultimate Editions they've made, and then we also have, you know, that Walmart exclusive Ultimate Edition WCW version of Roddy Piper coming soon that also looks really, really sweet. So I am much looking forward to this Coliseum Collection set, and I think that uh, it's going to be a banger once it first releases and, you know, we get it in here and everything like that. But it is not up for order just yet. But, of course, we will update you as we get more updates and we get, you know, the knowledge of the updated date. We will, of course, pass that along, uh, obviously. But And apparently NXT cuts are also coming soon, man. So uh, this is not the... The end of the end of the releases unfortunately today i don't know if we're going to see you know more main roster releases i'm guess that you know those things will roll out of here but if those things take place then obviously this video is going up well before they're announced apparently it says five eastern so that'll be four central for me for the nxt cuts apparently that are coming so that is uh just a sad day for a lot of people around the company and things like that man but i hope and pray that everybody that is is getting released from wwe today whether they're you know, on talent, on screen talent or on TV talent or whether they've never taken the main screen or they've never been on TV before. Uh, my heart goes out to them, man, and pray they land on their feet in another adventure. And this is just another door opening for them to do something else. And, and you know, they absolutely crush it. But that is going to pretty much wrap up this video, man. Just a, a, a bittersweet day. I'm really not that bummed out because I have I usually would get bummed out just watching him come out there and having to put over somebody that I'm just like, Jesus Christ, man, you're just so much better than this. And so just 
just no longer having to do that or put up with that is actually kind of refreshing for me. And I'm excited to see, you know, where he goes from here because he's going to crush it no matter where he goes for Dolph Ziggler, man. But I love Dolph Ziggler. Hope he absolutely crushes it, whatever he does next. But that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of everything. I'd love to know, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. I gave them an update on the office, man. The accent wall is coming together nicely. If you guys are interested in something like that, check out the link in the description below. But a huge shout out to the Patreon Army. Updated them last night. I'm going to continue to work on that tonight, and we should have some more updates. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.